It seems this deal is finally happening. What kind of scale does this add to 7-Eleven's chain in North America? Well, it adds about 3,900 stores, so that brings them to 14,000, which is, is really quite large, uh, much larger than any, any rival in North America. And it expands on, they've already done some earlier acquisitions of this type of convenience store, the kind that's attached to a gas station. Uh, about three years ago, they bought uh, about 500 from Cynical LP gas stations. Uh, so that's that's been a, a good model for them to buy these, and they, they've done well incorporating them into their chain. So, so much uncertainty with the economy, obviously. So why the timing to do this deal now? It, it does seem a little surprising. You know, normally deals like this are hashed out in boardrooms, and it requires a lot of meetings. So you, you wonder, I, I, I assume that a lot of the, the details were finalized over Zoom, uh, given the, the pandemic. But this is a deal that, as you, as you alluded to, has been in the in the. Uh, pod for quite a while. They've been negotiating this since last fall. A marathon had been under pressure from activist investors uh, to spin out this part of their business. And sure enough, they, that's what they've done. There were a couple of other bidders uh, bidding up the price on this, but 20, 20 billion was, is where they were at last fall. So it's not far off from that price. It's essentially the same sort of dimension of this deal. And of course, uh, Marathon Oil is, is in a difficult position now with oil prices uh, in the tank. They really had to uh, try to generate some money. The pressure has only increased on them. Uh, you also have the yen uh, getting a bit stronger against the dollar. Uh, that works in favor of the deal because it makes it, uh, in Japanese terms, it makes it cheaper for uh, 7 Eleven to complete this side of the deal.